Uh, today I got a letter from a friend of mine who just went away to college for his first year. And it was funny, it was bringing back lots of memories for me. He just finished going through Welcome Week, where he was subjected to lots of really awkward icebreakers with people he just met and, you know, all sorts of forced bonding activities with the the people in his dorm. And I was thinking about how when I first went away to college, I was more or less determined to alienate myself as an act of will <laughs> from everyone that I met. And it, it turned into a pretty pretty bizarre experience for me my first year. I was living on campus at Trenton State College, and uh, I pretty much determined after about a week there that I really didn't like anyone in my entire dorm, and <laughs> rather than you know behaving in a mature way about this, I decided to make that really apparent to everyone, and I just kept to myself. I ended up becoming rather close friends with my roommate, but uh, I think we made it really obvious that we didn't want to interact with anyone, and it became almost this elaborate game between us and the people in our dorm who just thought we were being really mysterious, and of course they were all incredibly intrigued by the fact that we didn't want to interact with them, and we were constantly in these ridiculous feuds with people on our floor over things that really didn't matter. We were just trying to assert that we were above them by you know, not wanting anything to do with them. Every single day, I remember people would leave notes on our message board asking us to go to lunch with them because the whole floor had a habit of eating together, a whole process that we found to be utterly appalling at the time. But every single day, we would not show up, but for some reason, they just felt the need to extend the invitation every single day. And I don't know, after a while, I think it turned into a... It turned into a very entertaining thing for us. Um, there was, you know... There was a certain something to that interaction that was that you know added a I think good amount of adolescent melodramatic tension to my life and I think I really enjoyed myself but uh <laughs> but the the tragic part of it was that about three quarters of the way through the year I just got kind of bored with it and I realized that I had completely isolated myself from every possible person who wanted anything to do with me and there was a point at which my roommate and I both realized this, and we just, we couldn't believe, you know, what we had done with our, you know, our potential uh, <laughs> personal lives at college. And uh, it was it was really, really kind of sad. I mean, first year at college, you, you don't have a car or anything, and you're just stuck with the people that you live with. And you're living in this little microcosm of a world where everything's incredibly out of proportion. By that time, all the drama, all the, you know, admittedly self-created drama that had been perpetuated throughout the year was completely out of control. You know, we had all these really bizarre, convoluted situations with everyone that we had ever interacted with, and no one knew what to make of us. Everybody thought that we were just these aliens, and it was sad. It was really a sad experience, and finally by my sophomore year, we wound up moving to a different dorm, and there were a few people from our freshman year who, for whatever reason, be it the challenge or <laughs> just complete generic boredom, decided to try to forge these friendships with with us, regardless to the fact that we had, you know, been so difficult for the entire first year living there. And some of those people actually became my closest friends for the, you know, the remainder of my college experience. But it's funny to this day when I talk to some of those people, they're just like, what were you doing? What were you doing freshman year? You know, why were you like that? I don't understand, you know, what you were doing with yourself. And it's funny. I mean, I look back on it now and I'm just like, man, you know, what was that all about? I mean, it's funny because now when I go into a new situation where I don't know anyone, I always have that same knee-jerk reaction somehow where I'm just like, I don't even want to have to try. I don't want to have to try to be friends with these people. You know, let them come to me. Let them come to me. And, it's, you know, it's kind of a shoot yourself in the foot kind of uh kind of idea, I guess, to live your life by. Not exactly a productive philosophy, but it's weird. I mean, I just moved to a new town, and, uh, you know, I have all these roommates who I don't know from a hole in the wall, really. We all just kind of randomly got together, and I find myself having a lot of flashbacks to freshman year because I'm, I'm having some of these old, like, inclinations rising up where I'm just like, oh, I just want to be really antisocial. I don't want to deal with these people. I don't want to have to pretend to socialize, and I don't know. I'm just... Just kind of wondering, you know, wondering if I 
can possibly handle myself a little bit better this time around than I did the first time around.